it's been pretty difficult. And community this size has something like this happen, and it just, I mean, it really affects everyone. Frightening images of the moments after a Walker Brothers circus tent collapsed Monday, killing 41 year old Robert Young of Vermont and his six year old daughter, Annabelle. It's a night that Lancaster residents, young and old, can't seem to forget. I know some of the kids are having a hard time sleeping, you know, questioning what, you know, what's going on, and this will get them to uh, understand that you know, people are there to help them out. Now, just four days later, residents of northern New Hampshire and Vermont have gathered to pay their respects and share their thoughts on a moment that rocked the small community. Thank God for saving my two grandkids and my daughter. Prayers of thanks and moments of grief. Everybody stay strong. A candlelight vigil meant to heal both the emotional scars and the physical. Tara McKillop's young cousin and friends were among the injured. They have a back injury and a head injury. They all got hit with poles, so they, you know, they're doing okay. For some, they're moving forward with new perspective. Peggy Desitel says she decided to stay home that night instead of going to the circus. I could have. And, um, you know, we, we all think that way, you know, that, you know, if, if just by chance we weren't there, you know. Tonight in Lancaster, candles burn for those who were there and those who still feel the loss. In Lancaster, New Hampshire, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.